My name is Cody Thomas. This is my virtual tour and presentation of the Appalachian Artisan Center, also known as the AAC, a community arts organization serving those in and around Hydeman, Kentucky. The AAC was a collaborative project that started in 1999 to bring arts education and culture of the area to the community. Its members consisted of Knott County, Hydeman County, and the government, Hydeman Cultural District, Hazard County Community and Technical College, and Hydeman Settlement School. As the program grew, they began to expand around the area of the original downtown building. In 2016, they purchased an old home improvement store located next door and renovated that completely to a new gallery store, exhibition hall, garden located on the rooftop, as well as more studio space and their own museum that hold local Appalachian crafts and art. A new program started in 2017 called Art Place. This focuses on arts and healing with individuals and the opioid recovery. They are a nonprofit organization. They hold exhibitions, guest artists and lectures, workshops, training sessions, and community engagement. Their funding comes from donations, grants, income from the classes they teach, as well as the gallery store where they sell their own art. They have 21 board of directors and over 15 staff and instructors. However, some of the board members also serve as instructors. The purpose of the Appalachian Artisan Center is to develop the economy of Eastern Kentucky through arts, culture, and heritage. They are also dedicated to supporting artists by helping them create and grow successful businesses. The center provides assistance to artists in many ways, including business plan development, training and continuing education opportunities, studio space, and a venue to sell and exhibit their own work. They have many different programs as far as art studios and the two-dimensional. They have painting, drawing, photography, printmaking, and mixed media. In the 3D work, which is their most popular, it consists of ceramics, sculpture, blacksmith and metalwork, jewelry, candle making, tapestry, knitting, basket weaving, and wood carving and turning. The AAC also has a very thriving music program. It consists of the Appalachian School of Luthery and the Troublesome Creek Stringed Instrument Company. These classes teach the production of guitars, dew climbers, banjos, mandolins, and ukuleles from start to finish. They source their own local wood from Kentucky and the Appalachian region. One day each month, they have a radio station that plays music from their own students and faculty in the program, as well as other community members. More programs that the AAC offer are classes that teach them how to have a successful art business or to be a successful artist. Classes for all ages and all disciplines, Youth Arts Council, Concerts and Singing Circles, Arts and Healing Program, and Exhibitions, Visiting Artists, and Art Festivals. The Culture of Recovery Program, or the COR, addresses the rise of substance abuse in the community and surrounding areas by engaging in music and art. Art Slam is an opportunity for participants to complete a single artwork in varying media such as painting, printmaking, and journal making in a single session. Art Journeys allows participants to engage in art mentorship programs on a weekly basis over the entire course of their recovery. Clients learn skills that begin at each basic level and scale up to artistic mastery. They were recently awarded a $75,000 grant for the COR program, as well as being featured in the Forbes and other magazines. Unfortunately, a flooding on July 26th of this year destroyed majority of the town. Flash floods wreaked havoc on the community. The AAC would have to raise $22,500 just to start cleaning their facility. You can see before and after photos of the community engagement that was once held, but now destroyed overnight from flooding. 
Their community came together in a time of need to give back to an organization that is always there for them. With having to raise over $22,000 themselves, they still have made time to give back to the community by participating in making art boxes for the kids in the community. Their GoFundMe is on the right.